Greetings and salutations everyone, I am back with a new video today and if you're new on the channel, subscribe, stay for a while. And as always guys, I am doing a giveaway on the channel for the month of December, the Christmas holidays. What am I giving away? Well, this week we're giving away an Amazon gift card. Last week we gave away a PlayStation Network gift card. This is exciting news guys, so do not forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe, enable post notifications, and comment below saying you've done just that. So, today we are going to be looking at top 10, another top 10 hitting the channel. I've had my run with the top 5s and I wanted to kick it up even another notch. We're going to top 10s now. And you guys really seem to enjoy the last top 10 I did, so I was like, you know what? We're coming back with another top 10 because this is exciting. And I thought, what better way to return with a top 10 based around the top 10 scariest Minecraft creepy pastas? That, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and add this one to the top 10 list. As always, guys, like I said, subscribe. And if you're not a subscriber and you don't plan on subscribing, get out of here because we're going up fast, guys, and we only want the top best people to subscribe. And that's facts. All right, so join us and don't get left behind. So. With all that aside, let's go ahead and dive into number 10. Which, in the number 10th spot, we are going to kick it off with a creepypasta that also ranges outside of Minecraft alone. Now, a lot of people may be like, wait, what do you mean? Well, Jeff the Killer. Now, a lot of people probably are aware of Jeff the Killer. If you've been on the internet for any source of a, a decent period of time, you will know that Jeff the Killer is something that arrived, well, many years back, and constantly, it is just this weird story that uh, spawned as a, a like a real story kind of like creepypasta thing about this killer Jeff and it's just like it's just Jeff the killer that's legitimately what he is he's a killer I think he's killed multiple kids and there's like some weird stuff about like the, the, the creepypasta is a very long story guys I can't sit here and read it all to you guys but just know it is definitely odd and uh, it's one of those creepy things because it's a, like his thing is always like he likes to tell people to go to sleep all this weird stuff but um yeah, Jeff the Killer is really weird, guys. Dive into this, like, it'll get creepy really fast. So, um, we won't talk much on Jeff the Killer. I'm sure a lot of you people already know what he is and the whole synopsis behind it, and it definitely is a scary, uh, creepypasta, to say the least. And let's keep it as a creepypasta. But before we do leave that, um, in the Minecraft universe, of obviously there's mods, uh, directed towards Jeff the Killer, but people have spotted to even have seen Jeff the Killer. And, uh, I remember, uh, mini games on Little Big Planet, uh, 3. Like, yeah, there would be tons of Jeff the Killer minigames. Always gets the adrenaline going. Jeff the Killer is just kind of scary. So, number nine. Guys, number nine would have to be the notorious, hands down, Green Steve. Everyone that has been on the channel for a while knows I was one of the core founders of creating Green Steve videos, which then spawned out to create a whole array of all the other Steves. The Blue Steve, the Diamond Steve, the Bedrock Steve, which I don't believe a lot of these are valid validated or real but there's something about green steve that definitely sparks my eye and definitely creates a mysterious aura around minecraft and you may be asking why well what is the back history behind green steve and what is green steve as a whole well guys if we actually go more in depth about green steve's story we know it originates from a very odd place and the creepypasta itself or myth well of based around green steve how does green steve appear in your world well we know we have desert pyramids or temples that some would call and in these temples you can go down to the bottom you have the loot but if you go if you take a wrong step the whole pyramid will blow up uh, due to the tnt wire traps now after setting off one of these traps and performing a set ritual, it is said that Green Steve would spawn into your world. And having had a few worlds in Minecraft where I've done these rituals, and I've actually done videos on that to try to debunk this myth and this creepypasta once and for all, I can deliberately say some weird things did very much so occur. And guys, ever since I've created these ritualistic videos, the whole community has been in an uproar, also making videos on Green Steve, spawning off on what they potentially thought would be other C uh, Steves, from Red Steve to Purple Steve to all kinds of Steves, but I think it really got dried out, and I think it got stretched out way more than it should have, just the creators really trying to grab a quick cash grab. Um, so, aside from that though, when it comes to the Steves, addressing all of them very quickly because I know a lot of people watching this may be like, well, is any of the other Steves going to make it on this 
list. Is there going to be a Red Steve, Diamond Steve? No. I'm picking Green Steve for this list for the specific reason to go over and talk about the Steves and the different variable Steves. We even have Ghost Steve. We have all this, but Green Steve seems like the most validated in my opinion. And to be truthful, if we look at the history date on the internet, Green Steve was one of the core originating pioneers prior to all these other ones would spawn after I started making videos and everybody wanted to kind of jump on it. So, with that aside, uh, it's also very important to note with these creepy pastas, guys. These are creepy pastas. There are no real, there's not really validated evidence to this. I'm not a firm believer in a lot of these like entities and these creepy pastas, but for the most part, it still is very intriguing. And I like to myth bust these and kind of prove if they're real or not. And that's what my channel kind of is based on at the current moment. So let's move on to number eight, which is of course Entity 303. A lot of people have heard of Entity 303, very popular in the Minecraft community there a while back, and Entity 303 was everywhere. There's even spawn-offs from Entity 303 saying Herobrine 303, and now what does all this mean? Well, Entity 303 is like an error that invades the coding of your game and that can hack your game files, thus creating very weird occurrences throughout your game and even potentially spawning an entity known as Entity 303. Three, which will haunt your world and go throughout your world. Primarily focused and spotted on Minecraft Pocket Edition, which has add-ons and mods, Entity 303 overall appearance in the Minecraft community was always very sketchy and not validated hardly, due to all the mods that surfaced around him. Now, we do have to take into aspect mods, add-ons, that's always going to be there, that's always going to kind of uh, bring life to these creepypastas and actually make some of these entities actually have visual, um, actual appearance in game, but a lot of times we like to break down to the actual core facts of how this originated, because if we go back in time, how did Entity 303 actually originate? We have to ask ourselves that and we have to read the beginning stories and the spawns of this and how people have had relatability with just set entities, so Entity 303 is one that involves the game coding that is very weird in my opinion so of course entity 303 had to make the list as for hero brian 303 another creepy pasta spawn off from entity 303 and i don't feel like it's too validated in my opinion moving on to the number seventh spot is null now null is a individual a entity that i have talked about on my channel for quite some time and i actually made a lot of videos on null which some of them may or may not still be up null is basically an all black character that can haunt your minecraft worlds and uh they are different variable ways to potentially spawn null some would even say other entities take the resemblance and could actually be null because when it comes to an all black character it's kind of hard to spawn we have multiple other characters which take the resemblance of null which being uh like just this black character which pretty much takes the resemblance of nothing it's just like a character of nothing that kind of invades your world and I think it's really interesting because with all like we have like uh, like I, I think we have like a white man we have it, it's really weird like I'm not, I don't know what the whole uh, thrill behind all that is but uh, I am surprised we haven't seen like an invisible entity that can haunt our world through invisibility I think that's really interesting as well uh, but uh, as for null if you see just an all-black character um, then I guess you may have encountered Null, and he's haunting your world. Kind of weird. I don't know. Anyhow, moving to the sixth spot on this list, guys. This would be Lick. Now, what is Lick? Well, the name himself is kind of odd, but Lick is a creepypasta that's also been around for a long time. However, in the Minecraft universe, Lick is said to actually be the originating core and spawner of all the crosses you see throughout your Minecraft world. I'm sure some of you guys have played on some creepy worlds and actually seen crosses generating naturally throughout your world, and it brings up the question, what causes that? As for, it's so rare and almost impossible to find, but when we do find it, we ask the question why well apparently lick is the originator and core spawn behind these crosses throughout minecraft so if you find a cross that is naturally occurring in your world chances are lick is in your world and has something to do with it or so says the story that goes with the creepypasta based on it i don't know you tell me Anyhow, guys, making it halfway through our list here, that is pretty awesome. If you haven't liked the video yet, what are you doing? But we are now at the halfway mark. We went through the first five, and we're about to dive to the final five. Now, I would like to also take note and say these aren't really listed in an order that superiorizes them to be scarier than the other, but at the same time, it still is listed in a fairly decent order, I would say, in terms of scary and just overall environmental-like acceptance. So... 
And like I said, guys, uh, you can put your own top five, top tens in the comment section below. But most importantly, what I do want to take this half way more time to ask you all, what other top tens would you like to see? Top ten scariest, Minecraft, so-and-so, or whatever. Let me know in the comment section below. I need feedback from you guys, and I love hearing from you guys. So let's continue the list. So moving on to number five, Obstruct Cube Society. What is Obstruct Cube Society? Well, guys, Obstruct Cube, also uh, what they go by on Twitter, is a very weird group of individual that seems to have some secret agenda to push behind Minecraft. Now, this is definitely odd, and to be honest, I don't know what to think of this group. I've talked about them multiple times in the past, but it's definitely one of those things that kind of sketches you out and makes you kind of ask the question, should I stray away from just this? So, Obstruct Cube Society is basically the Illuminati of Minecraft that controls all these creepy pastas. The, re the reason all these creepy pastas even originated was supposedly due to Obstruct Cube Society. Now, this is a really interesting concept to think about, and honestly, I don't really believe that. I don't believe there's a group that's specifically being like, oh, okay, let's make all these creepy pastas to push some secret. It, it sounds absolutely dumb. Like, what secret agenda would they even potentially have the requirement or necessity? to push guys it makes no sense that's why alongside obstruct cube society is anti-cube society which i stand more behind because it's more of a positive movement obstruct cube society is just weird they're very weird i just don't know if i want anything to do with that guys you know i'm all about positivity i want to promote and motivate others and that's what i do i don't want to be a part of some weird minecraft illuminati thing that's secretly promoting some agenda it's weird guys i don't want to touch it so yeah obstruct cube society aka the illuminati of minecraft that's what it is uh, we have done much research on it, but when it boils down to it, there's just a Twitter account of these guys. They tweet very weird uh, sequences of words that I don't even can, no one can really translate. They're just speaking some weird philosophical like uh, aura. Of where I, I don't know, man. I, either way, they take the number fifth spot. Um, and we will move on to number four, which is Slenderman. Now, this is where it starts getting weird, guys. We're getting down to the four final ones. Slenderman, you may be like, wait a second, why is Slenderman even a creepy pasta in Minecraft? Well, guys, I have talked about this many times before, and we have to actually ask ourselves, where is the core fundaments of Slenderman, and where did Slenderman originate entirely? Well, Slenderman also being a creepy pasta, but also said to be based on true events of a tall Slender Man that apparently uh, primarily asides in like a specific forest but would come out towards playgrounds to uh, perhaps abduct children um from time to time or watch them play which is very very weird and slenderman itself as a core originating factor in terms of just being uh, like super creepy super wrong uh just the concept of slenderman is wrong in itself but it then originated into becoming more of a horror story and just kind of like a scary thing that the internet picked up and spawned off from so slenderman then became like you you would have the game slender slender the arrival you know where you're in the forest looking for pages and that's what most people know slenderman as they think it's just this uh, origination of this game where you were in a forest collecting pages but the whole time slenderman is haunting you now this you know, the fact that Slenderman has a really weird past would be an instant cue not to have any association with Slenderman in Minecraft, a game that is primarily played by all ages and definitely children. Why would you want to implement a character that has a past based on just weird, like, encounters with children in a game that many children are going to play? It doesn't make any sense and it just seems wrong and it's almost like Slenderman somehow worked his way into Minecraft with the Enderman, okay? So, yeah, then Enderman got introduced in Minecraft, right? So, Endermen are obviously clear representation of Slenderman and complete replicas, but in a different way. And Endermen roam your world, make the strangest of sounds, pick up blocks, and we still don't know what Endermen are trying to build in Minecraft. So, Endermen alone in Minecraft have a secret, like agenda maybe i i am not exactly sure guys we have to ask ourselves what are endermen trying to build they always pick up blocks from our worlds and place them in different places like are endermen trying to build something maybe they're trying to get back to their home the inn but even then in the end it's just like they walk around aimlessly confused perhaps they are controlled by the end dragon there's so much around the end endermen that don't make any sense whatsoever 
And if we spawn this back around, guys, and we go back in to talk about Slenderman himself, there are mods that you can spawn Slenderman, actual Slenderman, in your world. Some people have claimed that they were been in a Minecraft roof forest and uh, stuff related ability and actually spotted Slenderman, which Slenderman would be this tall, sleek thing with like a white mask on um which could be due to a texture pack of an internet or something i don't know guys if anybody's really validated like um confirmed and found slenderman but i still think it's very weird how slenderman originated and actually got into minecraft so the whole lore and the whole concept of that in a creepypasta on its own is very weird and uh something that still makes us ask the question like oh that's odd anyhow guys moving moving on to the number third spot on this list number three will be hero brine now i think everybody could anticipate that this was going to make the list hero brine is an entity that we've all known forever one of the first pioneers of the whole creepypasta community with minecraft hero brine is as hero brine is and that's pretty much all you could say i've been talking about hero brine for years on my channel always trying to get down to the bottom of it and debunk everything that is hero brine in it entirely and uh, many of my friends have also done just that as well we have tried to debunk debunk and myth bust hero brine for all but out of all the creepypastas and all the entities Hero Brian seems most convincing and most real due to how Mojang perceives Hero Brian and how they pretty much direct Hero Brian. Like they're they're very odd in their approach with Hero Brian. Even though Notch, but when Notch had ties with Minecraft heavily, he was like, "Oh, Hero Brian doesn't exist." Then Mojang would release new updates, and in these updates, it would be like Hero Brian removed. Which makes us ask the question, wait just a second, something seems a little off here. We have Notch saying Herobrine doesn't exist, Mojang confirming that Herobrine does exist, and they did put him in the game. I think it's very weird. And uh, yeah, the Herobrine myth runs very deep, guys. I've looked at multiple Herobrine sightings and spottings from people, of course, and it all seems sort of fake, but you never can tell. And uh, I guess you would have to see one of these yourself to actually confirm um or deny the fact that uh hero brain is even worth interest so yeah that takes the number third spot in the minecraft creepy pond says hero brain could be haunting your world so keep an eye out for him now number two number two is boogeyman now i know that sounds weird boogeyman right but i have to say if you play on the minecraft world boogeyman and you survive through the night, weird things will occur and you could potentially see an entity off in the distance that is so different than any other. Taking resemblance to Null, being all black, but having eyes and a face that looks absolutely terrifying, Boogeyman could very much so haunt your world if you spawn him. Now, basically, they it is said the only world, however, that Boogeyman can really appear on is the Boogeyman world, which I have done a video on. The video is still up. You guys can go watch that. Some weird stuff did occur. Uh, I'm not really a candidate for believing in a lot of these creepypastas and these entities, but like I said, Boogeyman is definitely weird, and having played on the scene and done a video on it and experienced it for myself, I can say it was definitely odd, and I don't even know what to take from it, and to be truthful... The Boogeyman Seed and Boogeyman himself as an entity can kind of just stay to himself. It definitely is one of those more weird ones. Uh, and it's funny because it's like, wait, a Boogeyman? How would that be a weird one? How would that be any bit of, uh, like, uh, it's Boogeyman, right? Well, guys, you'd be surprising. In Minecraft, he looks very scary from what I've seen and spotted. So, yeah, and if I have any screenshots, of course, I'll be showing it. But we may not be able to find screenshots of Boogeyman because he's so rare. Um, so that's usually the case with a lot of these that I'm showcasing. Like, sometimes it's just really hard to find uh, images of these entities because they are that rare, um, supposedly. And how do you get images of the Obstruct Cube Society, right? Um, so, anyhow, guys, we're now moving on to the number one spot. And the number one on this list, which takes another uh, all-blacked-out entity. But this one has a really interesting core and in spawning... Uh, um, fact so that is of course the far man now I've also talked about the far man in the past and how does the far man originate what is the far man taking resemblance where well, the far man is similar to boogeyman and null being all black as an entity uh, usually you will see him way off in the distance in the far lands now for those that don't know what the far lands is the far lands is the super far edge of the map okay it's the super far edge of the minecraft map that looks very weird and is not generated correctly and to be honest the far lands in general is just odd guys like we never really took time to actually conceive this but the far lands in minecraft is one of the weirdest places in all the minecraft i mean it's a place that you could teleport to 
and it's the at the edge of the Minecraft map in terms of generation, and it's just all this weird, oddly generated terrain, which you guys will probably be seeing screenshots of. It's very, very weird. Having been there, played it on console version, on Windows 10 Pocket Edition, it's just weird. Like, it, it's one of those, like, I just don't know. It's very weird, and honestly, you don't know what's going to happen in the Far Lands because everything acts different. Like, if you light a fire, it's going to be two-dimensional only. Uh, there's so much stuff that the Far Lands just kind of kind of reacts to things very oddly, and one entity being the Far Man, which you can see off in the distance that just looks very weird and scary. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the Tom 10 Minecraft Scary Creepy Ponces. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, a very long video, nevertheless, but top 10 videos take just a long time. I mean, when I was doing top 5 videos, it was very quick and easy, but with top 10s, I'm legitimately trying to comprise these down the quickest that I can, talk about each one of these on the list for a, a decent amount of time, and get this out to you guys. So, really, this is like the quickest I can comprise this down while still talking a little bit in depth about these uh, creepy pastas and or whatever I'm doing a top 10 on. So. Yeah, with that aside though, I do want to know if you guys made it to the end of the video, and if you did, comment below Team O1G. We're going to see where the true supporters are, and that may also, I'm not going to lie, that may also aid in who gets picked for the giveaway, because uh, I need to know that people are just not here just strictly for the giveaway. Like, oh yeah, what's that giveaway? Um, but anyhow guys, I will see you all in the next one. Have an absolute amazing day.